All right, we got three of the new items here from Olight. We got the Olight. Here we go. The Warrior X4 with its uh, with its uh, little belt clip here, and we got a new O knife here with a, a new style of handle. We're gonna check that out. And this is the one I'm really excited about. This is the new uh, Olight with the wireless charger. Uh, I believe this is the Baton Three. Or this is the Baton Four. Sorry, my bad. The Baton Four. And this, this one's unique. It, it's new. It's different. Uh, you know, I was a big fan of the original Baton. Uh, this or the Baton Three, at least. This is the Baton Three here. We're going to compare and contrast those in just a second. But let's let's take a look at the other stuff first because we're going to have a bigger conversation on that. So we're going to move that off to the side for now. Let's close that up. Okay, let's talk about the O knife real quick. So we've had some O knife stuff in the past. Uh, I don't remember where my I think I had a rose gold one my wife wandered off with. And this was the second one that O-Knife sent me. And it has the Axis style, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, if you don't know, I actually have a uh, uh, the original, uh, uh, what you call it, the, the Benchmade. Usually it's around my desk somewhere. I, apparently I wandered off. Oh, here it is over here. The original Benchmade there. And they this, uh, this was under... Uh, um, patent and it, that patent expired so i really am a huge fan of that style of release i uh, got some packing tape on there and uh it, but it doesn't feel the same quality it's not a bench knife this this is a 200 or at least was a 275 seventy dollar knife that this is not uh and it, and it shouldn't be um yeah i laser etched that on myself yours will not come with that but anyway this is an older style this one's okay I, I didn't feel great about it, but again, the price point on it is not the same as the Benchmade. And I was probably judging it a little harshly about that one. This one, when it came out, uh, it felt, it's a micarta. It felt very cloth-like. I mean, that's what it is. It's a, it's a compressed cloth kind of uh, fabric. Uh, and uh, But once it wore, I didn't like it when it came out. Once it wore in, I was like, okay, this is feeling better. I really like the, uh, I like flippers. I'm a big fan of front flippers like that, or, or actually tab flippers, not the front flippers. Uh, I like the point I wasn't sure about, but I found a lot of uses for that. Very surgical kind of stuff to get in there and do stuff with. It's got a push button lock on it that works pretty well. Um, again, I don't carry these uh, on a belt and I don't carry them in, you know, I, I'll carry them in my pocket, but I want them all the way down my pocket. I don't clip them to the outside. I don't want to advertise to people that I'm carrying a knife um and so far this thing has been great actually i've i've really come to enjoy this i carry this one with me a lot i really like it then we come up to this new one and i gotta tell you the paint scheme not my thing but i'm an older guy and i guess i'm getting crotchety and boring as i get older because this kind of uh, yeah it's just weird uh, it's a little smooth. Maybe it'll wear in. It has the Axis style flipper. It has the Tanto style blade. I like the Tanto style blade. You get that kind of surgical accuracy that you get with this style, but you get a stronger blade behind it. And, uh, it, it's a really great design. I wish more people would do it. It got really popular for a while and then went away. We got some nice, uh, jimping here uh, on the back of the blade, right where your thumb's going to go good recess there for your finger you get a good solid grip on this uh you know of course the access lock on this is really sturdy you can really trust it it has the thumb studs on it i don't really use those so that's not really a big deal for me um let's see what else we can say about this the uh the, the size is is great the size is is about perfect for me uh just to compare it with my uh my benchmade it's about the same size as my Benchmade. Uh, and I like the Benchmade, but honestly, this feels better in the hand. I wish it was this material with that style knife. That would make me, with this blade, that would make me really happy. But you know what? I'm, I'm finicky. Just ask my wife. Uh, she won't use the word finicky. She'll use a different word to describe me. Uh, anyway, I, it's got the lanyard. I'm not a lanyard guy. I don't know anybody who puts lanyards on knives. If you do seek help, no, I, I get there's a reason for some people to do it. I don't do it. It's not my thing, but it's there if you need it. Now, as far as the clip, uh, it is removable. 
It does not look like it's reversible. You can't put it on the other side. You can't flip it around. It is what it is. You can take it off. I have a tendency to take them off. Of course, I took it off on this one. I probably will be doing that on my other ones when I get around to it. And all in all, I think it's a decent... I'd love to see different... And they probably have different colors. Uh, you know, knowing o knife, they, they like to do that sort of thing. Look, you got a positive retract on it. That's nice. I like that. Um, again, I can one hand flip it open like that. Uh, as far as closing it, super easy. Barely any inconvenience. All right, enough with the knife. Let me close these up just to be safe rather than sorry. And let's take a look at at the warrior here so this you can you can use it with it while it's in the in the uh the, the holster there so that's not a problem it pops out and it it has really positive retention there and it pops out all right you've got nice big fins on here because this is a bright light this will get hot really hot okay and it's got the thumb button on the back there so we got that. And then check this out. This is actually a part that's pretty cool. If I turn this, that opens to reveal the charging port. So this uses USB-C unlike the other standard kind of charging that you see on most of the old lights, which is the magnetic part where it's got an end like that, whereas this has got the button on the back. So that's not going to work for something like that. I can do that and we can go through the different cycles probably. Okay, if you press it hard, it's a momentary, which is good for tactical use. It's called the Warrior, and that's a good reason. And that's what this is for. This keeps it from sliding. If you take this off and you press like that, it's going to slide right through your fingers. Uh, I mean, it's got a good grip here, but that's really going to give it that kind of positive hold like that, where I can do it with just like that. Now, if you do a light touch, you get that. If you do a strong touch, you get that. If you do a quick touch and release, it stays on. And then if you press it, again, it will release. If you don't like this, you can simply unscrew the end cap here, and this will screw off, or come right off. See the battery has a 21700 cell in there. These are all made so well. In fact, if you wanted to reverse it, if you like that way better, that's up to you. I'm not going to judge you. I mean, I will quietly to myself, but it's not like I'm posted publicly. Not a big fan of these, what, castellations, whatever you're going to call them. I know there was a, a big trend with these to make them super aggressive. So if you had your knife, somebody came at you, you could gouge them with it. This isn't going to do anything. I guess the one thing is, if you set it down, I guess that's more what these are for. It'll keep it off. If it's hot, it'll keep it off the surface in case you do that. All right, let's talk about this versus this. This is bigger. Okay, as far as size, it's about the same. Let me bring it down here. There you go. A little bit bigger lengthwise. Widthwise, you can see a significant difference there. Okay. Um, yeah, there's just there's no comparison. I mean, it is bigger. It's not it's not three times the size. It's not even double the size, but it is bigger. Uh, and there's a reason for that. It's got better. Look at this. 51%. I now know exactly how much life is left in my in my my uh, my flashlight. Now they both again they have the USB-C, so which is great because if you just have your standard charging cable, you you can use that. And they both plug in. I plug that one in, and now I can see that it's charging. Well, here's the thing with this. So here's where this one becomes different than this. There's no button. So basically all I can do is take it out and, and use it. With this, I could turn on and use it while it's in the case. Now, why would I do that? Well, let's just say you're using this and it's dead. And you're like, well, I gotta charge it now and I can't use it, but I need it. Well, now I can plug it in get a little bit charged going there and now I can use it like this. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing, right? Now, besides being able to see the percentage and uh, and all the other stuff here, and you know what, we'll leave this. Guess what else?
before, one of the biggest complaints I had on this was that this was not, it was one way. You could charge into the device, but it couldn't use it as a power bank back out. Now you can. This will go back out to the device or to any device. So I can charge my cell phone, all sorts of stuff off of this. I love that feature. Also, let's talk about the lights. The lights themselves are different. Let me put this over here. Get it out of the way. Put him over here. Now the lights, boy, those magnets are strong. They don't want to have anything to do with the chiller. So I put them right here. They're essentially the same size. In fact, this is backwards compatible. So I can use this with with uh, the the Bonton three, the four. I don't know if it goes to the two. Uh, it's, it's on the website. You can see that the clips. All of it is pretty much identical. You can use this with a cap. You can use it as a headlamp. All that kind of stuff. But here's where it gets different. On the button there, you see this sh shows a battery symbol. You can see that there's a battery symbol. And there's a light symbol. Nothing like that on here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's six little LEDs. So when I turn this on, it shows me what light setting I have and how much battery I have left. Okay? So if I press and hold it, let me turn it on again. There's the lowest setting on my one. There's two. Whoops, went too far. And there's three. So it can show me exactly what my, my light setting is. It can show you exactly what your battery setting is. Of course, when you plug it into this, you now know what the battery setting on this is. Look, we're up to 52 already. This is everything this should have been at launch. And I'm super stoked about it. All right, you saw the new products, at least the stuff that I really like and that I use. I got to tell you that Baton 4, I'm totally stoked about. The knife is nice. They've been coming out with a lot of great products. But let's talk about the sale they got coming up. It starts on Monday the 20th. Uh, the screen, man, it goes so quickly. It just zips through everything here. Let me see if I can get it to stop on a page. They usually, I thought they had a pause button. Anyway, 8 p.m., 11:20, and I'm guessing that's Eastern Standard Time. So for us, that's going to be uh, 10 p.m. over here in, in Rocky Mountain Time. So just be aware. Is that right? Is that no? I got that backwards. It's going to be it's going to be 6 p.m. You can see where I'm at on this. All right. So let's talk about some of the stuff. I really like they broke this up into new arrivals, up to 50% off the login gift. Yeah, they do a gift just for showing up. Classic products, tactical lights, everyday carry headlamps, login gifts, and more. So let's let's jump through there. Uh, let's, this is the uh, the new stuff here, and we just talked about this. The Baton Four EDC. No, it's going to be a hundred bucks normally. Now we've got a coupon codes. So if something's not on sale, there's a coupon code in, down below uh, and links to all this as well that will get you a discount. So if there's something that isn't on sale, you can still get a sale price on it. But look at that, 60, 70 bucks on this for a portable power bank. You'd be looking at paying that kind of money. This thing is, with the flashlight, it's phenomenal. I love it. Uh, it's the kind of thing that I can just throw and carry with me all the time. Um, the pens, I'm, I'm a big fan of the pens. If you don't like the pen, you're not going to get the pen combo. I totally get it. There's the new Warrior flashlight, the X, the X4 with USB-C and all that kind of stuff. It's a solid flashlight. Don't get me wrong. It's not an everyday kind of carry thing for me. I'm not carrying that giant honking thing. Where is it? I put it right here. It goes, I'm, I'm not carrying this thing with me all the time, but... You know, maybe if I go out camping or, or uh, hunting or something, I might throw it on a belt clip or something. Uh, we got a bunch of other ones. We got the um, the Balder S rail mounted light. I actually do use a, a version of, of lights like this. And in fact, I, I think I've got one here with me. I did have, here we go. This is, you know, this, I, I've got the, this one's got the Valkyrie PL3 on it. So you can take a look at that. But uh, you can you can see that right there. Uh, pardon my colorful barrel protection device. That's kind of cheesy, I know. Uh, let's see what else they got here. A bunch of the Olight headlamps. Yeah, you can use those. But honestly, but that's what I like about the Baton 3 and the Baton 4. I keep calling it the 3 because I'm, I'm not used to the 4 out. It, as I love just being able to take this and just clip it right on. Even with my, my cowboy hat, I can slide it right on and use it like that. So... It, it works great for this sort of thing. I, I love it. Uh, the light, or not the light, the knife. We've got the knife here for $76. That's on sale. The the bike tail light, that is a lot. <laughs> guys, I got kids. All right. 
And one of the nice things is that we do e-bike video reviews. So all of the kids' bikes have headlights and tail lights, and most of them have turn signals and stuff like that, and brake lights. Like, you press the brake and the brake light comes on. But all their friends have regular bikes, and they just have reflectors. In this day and age, I, I hate to say it, and it's going to be a real downer, but one of my kids' best friends uh, about three or four years ago was killed in a bike accident just down the block from our house. Some guy with no license, no insurance, who shouldn't be on the road, didn't see him. He came out of nowhere. On, on a, anyway, I don't know if a light would have helped him in that circumstance, but I, I just... More is better as far as I'm concerned. Get your kids a light. Get a light for yourself. Don't be one of the, the statistics. All right, let's see what else they got there. I know, laying it on a little thick, but the reality is it's an important subject. Uh, they got the new, uh, old, was it U1, the Octical, is that how they pronounce it? U1 Carbon Fiber Small Folding Tool. It's basically a small folding utility knife. Go check out uh, Doc over at Last Best Tool. He just did a video of this. Uh, another fellow Montana, and I got to show the love over there. And I cannot, I love, I got to talk about it. It's over there for $60, $64. We got to talk about it again. Let me zoom out here. We got to talk about the axe. This thing is awesome. Look, okay, as you can tell, I used my new laser engraver to add a little customization to it. This thing is super cool. Uh, I haven't yet got around. I am going to grind this down. It's just, I keep poking myself on it. I don't need a nail remover pry bar at the end of my axe. I'll probably round that off so I can use it better as a tomahawk kind of thing. I don't know. Set up a throwing board or something on the wall over there. Anyway, that's all the sales. Let me know what you think. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me let me go back. I do want to cover this real quick. Uh, this is all the stuff that they have that's up to 50% off. So it may be new stuff. It may be older stuff. Everything listed up to 50% off. This right here, the Arkfeld Pro. This is by far my favorite flashlight. I know I was talking about how much I love the Baton 3 and everything. The Arkfeld lives with me everywhere I go. It's got a flashlight, it's got a laser, it's got UV, it has kind of a flattish profile so it fits in the pocket better. It is the fa my favorite flashlight I've ever had. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got the Odin Mini. I've got that. I run that on some of my stuff. Um, let's see. There's more stuff you can go through. As you can see, I like that they divided it up like this. So you can really, if you want to search for the savings, if you want to search for what's new, Lots of different ways to take a look at it. Don't forget to sign up and create an account there so you get all the free stuff and everything else. Links and discount codes are in the video or below the video, down below in the video description. Be sure to check them out. While you're down there, do, do me a favor and chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.